recording has started. Okay, gents, Mr. Hildoten, if you want to go through the questions received from uh, people from Dialim, and then we can go to answer one by one as we are recording this session. So when we make these sessions available to all attendees of this training course. Now, a straight answer is the best method is post well heat treat. Yeah, was about, yes, that was a really interesting one. I've never thought about that. Addition of water, you mentioned. <laughs> So yeah. my question is completely. The only way to stop that stress corrosion cracking was also a very interesting one. Zinc spray for cathodic protection. Yeah, it's it's it. You are right. If you, uh, zinc is an unknown that a lot of people are thinking, can I provide this already in the new tank? And of course, it's possible. Okay. Okay. Then you have already one millimeter corrosion alone. Put that on the drawing. Yeah, put that on the drawing. And you have one millimeter corrosion alone. <laughs> yeah, that's very, very thank you, very thank And I also we recommend you that you're going to purchase this corrosion guideline material books that is available on, uh, on the website, because many of the answers make reference to that book. Successfully applied. So, it, yeah, the, actually, it depends on validation of the technique yeah, what you use. For Yara, a, a huge a, a fertilizer manufacturer, anyway, accepted to perform. What are some key considerations during the detailed engineering company point of view for Doyo Rare Process ACS the 21? Yeah, that, that is a good question. And in urea processes in general, or urea plants technologies in general, there are uh, several key aspects to take into account during the complete engineering phase. Maybe I can add to that. We just recently came back from, from Tokyo for the Clean Ammonia Conference. So we see a trend in association between power companies. Our company been involved in some projects for the green ammonia, where we are technical consultants for large green ammonia projects, like for example, in Australia. Uh, Mr. Kenota, would you like to detail a bit more? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was uh, actually not very clear for us uh, whether uh, a stress relieving is required in uh, activated MDA system. Uh, so I will come back. But anyway, our experience was no galvanic erosion did occur. Thank you. Yeah, in our experience, in all cases where erosion corrosion occur, all these stainless steel are a good choice. Stress relief procedures. No, 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 no. Stainless steel are not susceptible for stress corrosion cracking in these. Uh... I guess the last question. You mentioned the coating inside the columns. In the top what? of the stripper. Uh, yeah, the stripper. Main ratio of NC and HC and HU. That will be explained in detail in this training course. Uh, NC ratio and HC ratio are important uh, parameters which you can relate to the phase diagrams. Please ask your question, Maxim. What's your opinion? <laughs> <laughs> Good question, Maxim. Thank you. I think it is both. From software, how to avoid uh, exposing in uh, scrubber? Yeah, in the stomach process. Uh, yeah, the, the example I gave to add methane uh, CH4. So if you follow those recommendations, you are quite sure that you operate in a safe way. In uh, recommendation for uh, avoid uh, explosion. So important to realize is that once you have a blocked-in situation and you have not an open vent, that uh, hydrogen can accumulate. The, the case in lesson four was quite special because there was pure oxygen and that led there to the explosion in the high pressure scrubber. Now, I can be have positive and quick news. That is for urea dust, it is not explosive. Uh, just to add something, Mark, this session is recorded and it will be available on the Your Fertilizer Academy uh, online courses. When you log in, you will have the opportunity to review this video session on your time you know, for the next two years.